Hello all, and welcome to Mr A's guide to using BandLab. BandLab is online music writing and editing software that we can use to create music whenever and wherever we are in the world. Firstly, we're going to open a web browser and type edu.bandlab.com into the address bar. Please don't just type BandLab and search for it as it won't take you to the educational version of the site, which is what we want. Do properly enter edu.bandlab.com into the address bar at the top of the page. Once the BandLab site opens, click on the login button in the top right and you enter your GGS email and the password you've set up. If you can't remember the password, then click the link here for forgot password and follow the instructions, otherwise click login. So as a teacher, I can see all of my classes listed. As students, you won't see this, but if you go up to the top, you'll see the folder icon with musical quavers in it, which if you click, it will take you to your BandLab library. In your library, you can see any songs you've created previously, you can also listen to them by pressing the play button like so and the song will play already mixed at the bottom for you. If you want to edit or add to this song, simply click on the triple dots on the right and then click open in mix editor and you can pick up where you left off. I'm going to create a new song from scratch today, so I'm just going to click on mix editor. BandLab will now create a blank template and I can get started. Pause now and open BandLab along with a new blank template. So, now you've logged in and set up a blank template, we're going to start with a drum machine track. BandLab will automatically set up your song with 8 bars of drum beat. Bars 1 to 4 are filled with drum loop A, which if you come down here, you can see pattern A is represented by all of these little coloured dots. Then bars 5 to 8 are filled with drum loop B, which if I click on pattern B down here, you'll see the dots change as the drum beat changes. I can hear a preview by clicking the play button here for pattern A and for pattern B. And then I can go to the top and click play on my main song and you'll see pattern A at the top and down here. That's pattern A and then it changes to pattern B at the top and likewise down here. I'm actually only going to keep pattern A so if I click on the beginning of the loop for pattern B here I'll just press delete or backspace on my keyboard and it'll disappear. I'm actually going to change pattern A slightly by bringing this yellow dot a little bit earlier and getting rid of the first red dot that's bouncing along in quavers just because I think it sounds cool. So here's a preview. And if I play my main song, you can see it's adjusted accordingly. Pattern C, D and E, etc. are all blank so you can write down your own drum loop patterns just by clicking dots on or off of the grid and just add them to your song by clicking add C, add D, add E, etc. I'm now going to loop my main part a little longer by grabbing this little circle and dragging my mouse to the right. Always make sure you drag the end of your loop to line up with a bar line or it might suddenly stop in a weird place and sound a bit odd. So I'm going to skip back to the start and add another drum track quickly. So click add track and then click on drum machine. So again, I'm going to delete the first eight bars the band lab gives me automatically. I'm going to go down to pattern C, which is blank and I'm going to switch one of my drums to hand claps by clicking this little arrow. And I'm going to add hand claps to my pattern on beat two and four like so. Here's a preview. Click add C and disappears up at the top and I can stretch it out to make the loop longer and drag it around to get it in the right place. So here's what they sound like together. Actually the hand claps are too loud I think so I can simply drag the volume down for this track and try again. Let's get back to the start and press play. Two bars of beat, play and then the hand claps come in. Pause now and play with some more drums. Okay, 
So now we've got a couple of drum tracks. We're going to add in one of BandLab's preloaded sample loops. Click the loops down here in the bottom right corner and the loops browser will open. You'll be able to see all of the loops available on BandLab you can easily search by packs or by individual loops by clicking in the search bar and searching for bass or guitar, piano, vocals, etc. I know for a fact I've got a lo-fi bass loop that I like, so I'm going to go back to the main loop browser and click on lo-fi. And then I'm going to add lo-fi bass 20. I can preview the sample by clicking on it. And on the right it shows which instrument the loop is played on and at which tempo and what key the loop is in. Up here I can see the key of my song, which at the moment is blank because my tracks so far are all drum tracks and therefore have no pitch, no chords, no melody, no bass. I can also see my main song tempo is set at 120 beats per minute and how many beats I've got in the bar, four crotchet beats at the moment. If I come back to my loops browser, I can drag and drop this loop onto my song and you'll see the file appear. And because the loop was originally set at 85 beats per minute, and my original tempo was 120 beats per minute, my songs now slowed down massively. I can correct this simply by clicking on the tempo marking for the song and changing it back to 120 beats per minute. BandLab will now ask if I want to audio stretch my bass line. Click Adjust, and my sample now fits the tempo that I want. I'll drag it into position and loop it a bit. Close the loops browser so I can see a bit better. Take it back to the start and play. Okay, so that should bring you up to speed with where we were at before the Christmas holidays. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna be looking at how to change key so that all of our samples sound nice and in tune. We'll also look at adding software instruments and using the virtual piano and the graphic score editor to create our own loops. Finally, we'll also look at adding effects so we can really give our song a professional polished finish. Hope you've enjoyed this up to now. Do keep playing around with BandLab as much as you like and watch out for my next video. Thanks very much. Bye.